Morning everybody. I know it's been a hot minute since I did my last video. Just wanted to do a real quick update on uh, you know, not everything's perfect with any trailer that you buy, and that's kind of a, a given, right? Anything you buy that's manufactured by mankind is going to have some sort of deficiency or some sort of little hiccup. And uh, I've experienced a couple of them at the moment that I wanted to point out to the rest of you guys, because I know a lot of people have been commenting that they're about to buy one of these trailers, and uh, that's awesome. I mean, these things have been, you know, stellar as far as their performance and, and what I've been able to get out of them. However, there's a couple of things that as you buy these uh, to be aware of. They may have these things fixed by the time you get yours. They may not. It just depends. So there's a couple of things to look out for. Uh, first thing I wanted to point out that's more difficult to get to is the drain valve. So <clears throat> underneath the trailer, you might see this little bad boy. There is a drain valve that you use to drain the tank, uh, water tank, when you need to winterize it and stuff. And if you look up, well, you might not be able to see it, but underneath all of that is a... Um, uh, shutoff valve and in fact it's right here you can see it and the problem is is the shutoff valve um, there are failures with them uh, they're not very common but they do happen um, I spoke to the warranty department they said that of the trailers they've sold this year they've had five warranty claims on it and it may be that uh, people haven't used their trailer enough to know that these things are failing and, and what happens uh, and I didn't notice this until I brought it back from my last trip is that you'll have a slow drip in the back you'll see water dripping off. Now it has to be on level ground to notice it, which is why it's not dripping right now. But uh, when I got back from my last trip, I had it parked out front and I noticed there was a small drip coming out of the back end. So I went and looked at it and that's when I realized, hey, there's a shutoff valve. And if you open the valve, obviously water comes out, which is what it's supposed to do. But when you close the valve, it doesn't seat all the way. And so you'll end up with a very slow drip of water. And um, as we all know, water is king. When you're hot, it's, you know, you, you want water. So having that was a problem so I've, I've submitted a warranty claim they are shipping me a new um, shutoff valve now that has nothing to do with OGT that's their supplier shipping defective parts and it's not widespread uh, apparently this like I said only five units so far this year have had this problem so it's not widespread but it is something to be aware of and it didn't happen from day one something failed uh, on my last trip that caused it to do that so given where it's tucked up in there I don't know maybe a rock hit it maybe it just I don't know I don't really know why it caused it to fail but be aware of that right you check that as you go out on your trips if you've got a slow drip go ahead and submit the warranty claim and get that sorted out uh second challenge that i wanted to talk about are the uh vent tubes so if you've got this thing ac prepped like i do where you've got these vents here um <laughs> we, we all know this is kind of a design flaw right this is something that i asked about when i first got the trailer i wanted to check and see if it was really a problem but you notice it's got these little fine holes up inside and there's no filter or anything behind this so if you're in real dusty conditions like we have here in texas you will get fine sand inside the cabin and if you don't believe me this is what i noticed from my last trip let's see if i can get up in here and show you guys what i'm talking about See all this fine dust? That all came in through the AC vents. So I have to transport this thing right now without the AC installed because, I don't know, maybe I have an earlier version, but it has a tendency to fall out when I'm driving. I know I've got some bolt down points, which I'll be working on. But anyway, when you don't have your AC, all this dust comes in to this side of the cabinet. Now, I know this because there's no dust here. So I know it's only coming in from that vent. So I've submitted another warranty claim. And basically what they told me is that they recognize that, that is a design flaw and they are shipping new units with uh, permanent caps. So they're screwable caps. So I would assume there's something you can screw on here when you're traveling and then you unscrew it and it dangles, whatever. So I'm, I'm on the list to get those. They're getting them from their printers as we speak. Uh, once I get those in, I'll show everybody what it looks like. But uh, if you're in the process of ordering a trailer with AC prep, you may or may not get it like this. And if you do, go ahead and submit the warranty claim. Get the updated ones because that fine dust coming in sucks. Um, what I was going to do, depending on how long it takes to get those in, is actually take these off and put a, an, um, like an RV AC filter behind it and then glue these back on so that at least I can keep the dust out. Other people have said that they put painter's tape over this when they're traveling or some sort of a plastic to protect this as kind of a, a in the field hack, which yeah, that might work temporarily, but it's not something that I wanna do um, all the time. So getting replacement caps is the way to go. And then finally, the awning. Uh, you know, 230 has these challenges and I'm, I'm not alone in saying this. A lot of people have complained about this. The bags are relatively tight for the awnings, the shower enclosure, all that stuff. And when you're putting this thing back up, you have to be very mindful of how tight 
you get the canvas uh, tied back up before you zip it up. All right, if you're like me or you're like most guys, we don't have the patience for that kind of crap, especially when you're in the heat. So uh, what ends up happening is you get part of the canvas stuck in these stupid zippers, which is what I've done. So it took me all morning to get the canopy out of the zipper and it ended up damaging the zipper track. So now I have a gap in my, uh, my zipper here, which is kind of annoying, but uh, you know, it's something I had to learn. So be mindful of that when you get these things, that this bag is relatively tight and it takes a lot of pushing to get that stupid awning secure enough so that you don't catch it in the zipper. Now, one way you might be able to get around this, so this other thing is when I, I notice this, when I, when I get this, this awning actually sits a little bit lower on this uh, rack that they have set up, which means that when you're trying to get the zipper closed, you end up raking your hand across the top of the rail, which when it's hot, it sucks. So when I was fixing this thing this morning, what I did is I took the whole awning down and when I seated it back up, I raised it to as high as I could get it on those uh, attachment points, which actually gives you about a half inch higher clearance. So maybe my experience will be better now that it's raised up. So my recommendation for those of you that are getting these things, take a look at how that's mounted when you get yours. If it seats low, raise it up, right? Now, the, the, the challenge with this is I don't know what that means for rain, right? I know that the lower it is, the more likely you're not going to have leaks. But honestly, you know, it, it, you got to give and take, right? You want to rake your hand every time you want to close the stupid thing up, or do you want it to be high enough to where you're at least not going to kill yourself trying to get the awning back in? I'll take the, the, the raindrops. I don't mind that, honestly. And if you do your awning correctly, you put a dip in it anyway, the, the water will run off in a different direction. So anyway, those are the, the things that I've been meaning to do a video on. Those are things that have popped up on my radar as uh, challenges with this trailer. Uh, and like I said, nothing is perfect. You're always going to have some little gotcha, but hopefully I can help those that are about to receive one of these things take a look at a couple of things uh, to make sure that, you know, you get your warranty claims in as soon as possible. Now, Off-Grid has been very uh, good about responding. So, you know, working with Doug over at Off-Grid has been an excellent experience. You know, he's quick to get things shipped out. He's quick to identify, yep, this is a known issue and we'll get you taken care of. So um, at least we have that going for us. But uh, anyway, like I said, I just want to get a quick video out. Uh, I apologize for not getting that. I keep promising that other tent video. It's been dangerously hot here in Texas and it, there's no sign of it letting up. Like we've literally had consistent 100 to 104 degree temperatures here. Uh, for about a month now and uh, it makes it very unpleasant to be outside for any meaningful amount of time especially when you combine it with you know 40 to 60 percent humidity it's like walking into an oven so i'm hoping once we get a, a break we'll be able to go out and do that and i'll be able to provide you guys that video but until then i'll just keep uh you know pointing out certain things and giving you guys better uh better idea of what to expect when you receive these trailers Again, thanks everybody for the subscriptions. Thanks for all the positive comments. I definitely appreciate everybody's attention. I, you know, I'm not doing this for money. I'm not monetizing any of these videos. I'm purely doing this so that you guys can get uh, more information about these trailers so that you can make a worthwhile investment. So if you find these helpful, please give me a like. Uh, feel free to sub. Otherwise, uh, I look forward to making the next video for you guys. Thanks. Talk to you later.